Hi, my name is Anton and this is my channel about computer vision. Probably many of you have faced the following problem. You need to train a model, but there is no data. And every time you start looking through data sets, through pre-trained models, uh, at least a couple days of work. And uh, if you try to assemble a data set uh, and label it, it will take weeks. Uh, today I will tell you friendly and easy way to build a data set in a couple of hours. But please, please don't use it in real production. Probably in some hobby project uh, on, uh, to test some idea, but not in real production. And uh, at the in end of the video I will tell you a few, a few more production ways to work when you have a small amount of data. Uh, so, let's begin. So, how do you get a dataset without parsing dataset catalogs and labeling data? You probably know that there was a search in generative models two years ago. Uh, it's all started from DALI model, uh, and after that there was VQ, GAN, and CLIP uh, based model generative neural networks. After that there was diffusion based model. You can check all the history on papers with code and uh, uh, research about newest models from Google or uh, DALI 2. So, uh, using them you can generate a dataset. Easy, isn't it? <laughs> uh, do you need workers and helmets? They there. And all three rings here, chess, they there. Will it work? Somehow it will. Uh, especially for this video I trained one model. What shall we detect? Kraus. I love Kraus. Even when I was a kid, uh, the one crow lived with us for half of a year. Um, anyway, uh, I took Ru Dali for image synthesis. It works in Collab and gives pretty good quality, but you can take some more model if you want. Uh, uh, this is the data set I got. Uh, these are crows, mm, pretty fancy, isn't it? Uh, and uh, these are examples without crows. Uh, to uh, get less mm, wrong detection. How to label a data set? I usually use the CVAT to mark, mark up some simple examples. Uh, but uh, CVAT doesn't work these days. Uh, Rob RoboFlow, which is popular nowadays, uh, I tried it first time, but it got hung up in some training model mode and I can't use it, so I took Supervisely, uh, which is uh, pretty common uh, for open source and hobby project. Uh, and uh, that's where I marked up the dataset. Uh, you can take the label, labeled dataset in the description. Uh, for the, this tutorial, I took a pre-made example from YOLO v5 uh, mm -hmm. from Collab. Uh, the link uh, to this Collab also in the description. Uh, Let's look at the result. And the result. It even works somehow. Uh, it's far from perfect. Uh, sometimes it confuses cats and crows, but it works. Uh, considering I spent uh, less than half of a day uh, on this, and it's not bad, in my opinion. Uh, and you can check the source code in the description and play with it yourself. Now let's talk about uh, where this will work in practice. And I'm not sure about this. Uh, for the system to work well, you 
uh, need a lot of examples from the uh, distribution tails, uh, like some out of uh, scope examples, border examples, and so on. Uh, and the generators will not be able to provide them. Uh, furthermore, the quality of the generator is far from perfect and uh, it will affect the model quality. Well, and uh, from B and another one big disadvantage, uh, the generation is quite a long process and you must wait uh, if you need data set on thousands of images. And let's talk about how to develop correctly for real products if you have a few examples and uh, need a quick solution. And the easiest way, of course, is a few short learning approaches. Uh, check the examples on the papers with code. Uh, and just by using 20 to 30 images, uh, the quality of detection can be much better than the one that I showed you. Uh, so just took some good example from Papers with Code and uh, using this technique you can get pretty good result for uh, detection and from for classification. And the second approach of course is uh, by um, creating new data set from Flickr on from some photo stocks where you can uh, download a lot of images just by tag and uh, it's the easiest way to create the data set and usually with such approach you can create the data set just in um, two or three hours but of course you need to label it after uh, if you want uh, me to make a video about it, uh, leave uh, comments and I will try to make. Thank you for your attention. Bye.